Hey everyone, welcome to episode 7 and the final episode on the build of the Delta. So as an update, you can see here I've actually made new um, ABC carriers for the printer. These are much thicker than the original ones. The original ones did have some deflection while printing, they were just too thin. So I printed out some new ones. I also updated the linear rails here to 400 millimeters instead of 300. So a good rule of thumb is just subtract 100 millimeters from the length of your side extrusions here and that's what size of linear rails you should be using. So I'm using 500 length extrusions on this printer. So I ordered 400 millimeter linear rails and you can see they fit perfectly. I have just a little bit of space there so I get the full build volume. You can see I have my nozzle probe attached here. Okay, and then I have my laptop here so you can just see a little bit more information. So let me just copy this command so I have it easily and let's talk about the config file here really quick. So if I go back into my config file, for a Delta to work, we need to set up a couple things. So in the very first stepper selection, you do need to put in your position and stop and that's Basically, that's the height of your probe to your build plate. That's your, your print volume height-wise, essentially. So I put in 190. It's okay if you put in too much. It'll hit the probe before it goes to the maximum length anyways. But you do have to have a high enough number so that your effector can go down enough. If I would have put in 100, this would go down 100 millimeters and stop and saying the probe didn't trigger. So if I put in 190. You can see I put in my arm length at the bottom there, 215, because I'm using 215 millimeter Hayden Huntley arms. I've just done that in stepper A. You do not need to put that in stepper B or C or anything like that. The other thing we need to put in is we do need to put in, of course, our probe information. Very easy. Um, the probe pin is PA1 on the SKR Mini 2.0 the speed at which my probing is going to happen, and then my offset is just zero because I've never probed this before, of course. I have my delta calibrate settings in here, so my radius, which is half of my build volume, so that's 90, because my build volume is 180. Horizontal move Z is how far do you want the effector to lift up before it goes to the next point. And then again, my speed. And then the one last thing we need to put in there is my printer. I need to tell it my radius for my actual overall printer. So I put 90 again. Okay. So everything's set up to run a Delta Calibrate. And I should say too, you can definitely build a Delta without a probe. There is a manual calibration in Clipper. Basically, it will move the nozzle down. You can manually baby step it, save that number, hit next, and it'll move over and manually do it. It's just a manual process. It does about seven points. So if you don't have a nozzle probe, you can still calibrate a delta. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run that delta calibrate command. So you can see here, very straightforward, just delta underscore calibrate, and we're going to hit enter. You can see the printer goes down and it's moving to the seven points automatically now. And this is the best part about Clipper. Uh, even RepRap firmware like Duet controllers, their Delta Calibrate is way more involved than this. Clipper is by far the best. <clears throat> you can see it's calculated all my end stops and it's calculated all my and stop angles, my arms, everything. All I have to do is click save config and it's done. My printer is ready to print. I will do a little quick video of this printing a calibration cube. Nothing crazy or anything like that, just to show you that it is printing. And that'll wrap this up. If you guys have any more questions on this build, definitely feel free to comment below. This is the final episode. We'll be doing more videos on a couple other printers I have. I have a whole slew of printers that we're going to be working on and either updating Clipper or building printers from scratch. I have a lot of ideas and stuff like that that 
I do want to do builds on. So that's the final video for this. I will post any updates for the STLs on the GitHub and I will link the GitHub in the description for this video. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Feel free to subscribe. There's definitely a lot more printer stuff coming. Thanks everyone.